so in this notebook we are going to see how to drop the duplicates using a drop duplicates data frame function for that let me create a new notebook inside a data frame functions create a new notebook this is like how to handle the null values specially so we are going to see by using a drop duplicates duplicates okay drop duplicate data frame function let me create a new and i have already have a data with me so i'll be just copy pasting it data to save some time i have induced some null values inside that so that that will be used for our data yeah so this is the data so i have created a users data importing data and time i have all the various data types here like i have a uh, string type boolean type or uh, integer type date and time type okay. so let me create a data frame from this so how to create a data frame so we need to just say data frame equal to park dot create data frame and you just need to pass the data here okay data and schema but let me just pass the data and check the data frame here so users is not defined so let me run the user cell first it has executed now let me define the data frame so it has executed so we know that PySpark works as a lazy evaluated so if you take a transformation to show the results you need to take an action on top of that transformation you can see okay so you got the data frame but that are not arranged in the correct sequence like how we have the data first we have id first name last name mail and so on but here the order is in the ascending order so to handle this type of data you need to give a schema here okay you need to pass on the schema you can create your own user defined schema okay no worries now let us see how to see the data frame function called drop duplicates so let me run help on drop duplicates. So the drop duplicates is a data frame function. So I'll use a data frame dot drop duplicates D capital year duplicates and let me execute this. Yeah, so I'm, I have executed here and now you can see how many parameters is act, it accepts. So first is subset that is an optional again and it is an optional. So you can see the example here and you can read out the more details about the drop duplicates here so either you can use drop duplicates in this way or you can use drop underscore duplicates also let me show you yeah you can see drop duplicates or you can use the drop duplicates that means both are aliasing to each other or both are synonym to each other so you can use any of that so let me first show you without passing any subset in that so any subset means I am not saying anything. I'll just say data frame dot drop duplicates and let me execute it. Okay. Drop duplicates data frame function and let me use an action dot show to see the results. Before before running this, I would like to show you the data here. So I would like to show you this data frame in the display format display format display df so that you can get a neat html format and you can see how many rows are there you can see there are eight rows and you can see the first row is exactly same with the third row you can see this third row no not third row exactly it is similar to the fifth row here you can see that so all the records from the first row and the fifth row are same Second row, there is a small change. The last name is a little bit changed here. And the third name is third row is also changed here. From now it is Navin. Okay. So, but if you look, it is exactly same. If you compare like all the rows, first number and the fifth number are having exactly the same records. Okay? And there are few duplicates, maybe in the first name or duplicates in the ID column also duplicates in the last name also so if i run drop duplicates and execute this 
now you can see the output you can use dot show there were eight rows or eight records now you can see we got one two three four five six seven seven records only the fifth serial number now is missing or the fifth record is missing to show you in detail let me use this in a display display function so you can find out easily so you can see one two three four now fifth record has been deleted so how does the drop duplicate function without a parameter works so wherever you have the common rows like common rows in all the fields that row or that record will be deleted if you just run the drop duplicate function data frame function so let me let me show you in other way suppose if you want to drop based on the only one column that is id column okay i want to use data frame like i don't want any duplicates in the id column or uh, like your id column can be your primary key or primary column so if you just look at the documentation here drop duplicates it's an optional we have seen that but it accepts the least type so we need to pass that column name in the form of least and that should be a string let me show you how it works so here inside this i need to pass the least type like this and put a string and just pass on id column now wherever you have the same duplicate id that will be deleted and only one id that is the first id remains rest all id will be deleted let me execute this and show you you can see that so now there is no duplicate in your id column so all are unique in your id column so similarly you can run that for different columns also you can run for the first name column or you can run for the last name column also so this is how the drop duplicate data frame function works let me show you in other way instead of writing it drop duplicates a camel case here you can put a underscore and run this also so this will also give you the same result this is how the drop duplicate works